Give me your money, bitch. Give me your money, Granny. The short term is about training. Intelligent options increase survivability. You're still a bitch, though. Hey, Commander Brown, how do you stop a grenade? Hey, Granny, where'd you get the grenade? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. The Granny got me. Finally. It's a Granny that got me. And a grenade. Who'd have thought? What's up, Financial Hikes? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the importance of staying focused in your brand, all right? Or your, whatever you're passionate, whatever your project is, maybe even your business, staying on point, not letting the detractors mess you around. Now, you guys probably already heard of uh, the Detroit Urban Survival Guy. A lot of people have done tons of video on this guy. And he, continues to grow he continues to grow day by day uh i think i just seen him the other day um, on the post at a i think an nba game and then i think he's doing not a movie but he's doing something else big uh, i just like randomly uh seen him on and i'm like man <laughs> he went from <laughs> this big meme to now probably making buttloads of money. His YouTube channel has like over, what, 1.4, 1.5 million uh, subscribers, which is crazy, but he saw these jokes. And unfortunately, when a lot of people get joked on or a lot of businesses or different things like that, they either try to attack these people or they just, uh, you know, crumble. He could have did that. He could have just been, you know, vicious right back to everybody making jokes about him. Uh, about his techniques he could have just hey I mean, you know i'm done with this online stuff i'll just keep it in detroit and been done with it but instead of doing that he turned all that around and made a meme <laughs> like he joined in on the memes if that makes sense he took all that energy and did uh what's that martial arts he did some uh not Taekwondo, I can't even I can't even think of the martial arts, but the one where you use oh Tai Chi, the one that you use other people's power against them. He used some Tai Chi against all these detractors and is making millions on that guys. That's amazing, guys. That's freaking amazing. And if you are getting that pressure now or if you feel like you may be getting that pressure in the future, look at this guy. Look at look at his videos, look what he did. Even people that like the people who made fun of him. Look what he did with them, with the collabs he did with these guys to make them join him. And again, he's still making so much more money. I'm not exactly sure how many subscribers he had uh, prior to all this on YouTube, but yeah, he's he's up there. And I did some more research on this guy. Apparently he's been doing this for a very long time. Uh, he, he's been on TV before, uh, he's been on YouTube. I sent a YouTube video of him uh, with this whole, uh, I guess survival group or whatever, security group. Uh, I think maybe a year or two ago, and I didn't even recognize that was him, which is crazy. But yeah, guys, um, you will come across a lot of opposition. Um, I mean, you know, this is what, 2022 now? Got a lot of trolls, got a lot of haters. Uh, that's probably why I'm also going to the cybersecurity stuff so I can track all these people. <laughs> but if you don't have those skills to track all these people online, um, you can do like he did. You can, you can brilliantly make <laughs> make everybody else to joke you know again he could have crumbled he could have just been mad and attacked everybody but no he came he came in to the wusa had them join him on videos and made a whole uh funny type of spectacle but still showing that these techniques work he brought the naysayers in and showed them that this works so guys that's also important to make sure whatever you're going in that either the works you really have a strong conviction in it all right because that's something too because yeah if he had the naysayers come in and it's full of crap yeah I'd probably wouldn't have been embarrassed anymore but he knew he was right and hey at the end of the day not only does he have all these naysayers now with him a lot more uh, public praise from people, but he's getting sent to NBA games, and these events, and all this other crazy stuff because he had that focus, had that conviction. I mean, definitely guys in your business or whatever you're doing, sport, etc., have that focus, have that drive. 
let's get into it. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.